All right, I'm getting a couple tweets and Facebook posts from people. I want to let you know. I'm sorry, it's Minneapolis. I think I still might be saying it wrong. I don't know, the Spartans are headed out there, but they took their time certainly tonight, celebrating on the floor at Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. Yeah, cutting down the nets. The first guy to do it, Josh Langford. Didn't play more than half the season with that broken foot, but he was up there cutting down the nets. Tom Izzo, we heard from him earlier in the show about Michigan State's win over Duke, but what about the players? Let's go back to the press conference room and hear from some of the questions and answers from those guys. Zach Brazil in New York Post. Cash, just, could you just describe what, what the emotion was like for, for you as you're dribbling away from Barrett and Zion and you kind of know you're going to end the game that way? Uh, it was you know, it was just shocking. I just I knew I was going to get fouled. I was preparing my mind to knock down some free throws and stuff, but I got the ball and got away. And then I was like, oh, we, I'm about to dribble it out. It was, this, is, this is really happening. So it was crazy. It was a crazy moment. Jim Comperoni, SpartanMag.com. Kenny, on that three-pointer you hit late, Duke had done a great job tightening the window on you all day. When that one came open, how did you come open that, that clearly? And tell me about that being drawn up. And as you saw it go through the rim, take me through that whole process. Uh, you know, Coach, uh, Coach did a great job. We ran it a little earlier. It didn't work. And uh, we went back to it. Coach was like, it's going to be open. Um, this guy next to me has been making my job real easy all year, finding me uh, when I'm open. And uh, as soon as it left my hand, I knew it was good. I was, I was kind of planning my celebration already, but knew I had to get back on defense. Matt, your first take, you looked like you could have banged it. Second one, you definitely did. Mm. Third one, got the crazy circus shot. Just tell me a little bit about what those three plays were like for you. Uh, I, I, as the basketball gods, I guess. Uh, I don't know what got into me. Um, yeah, I just uh, the first time I went up, it was just kind of soft. And then the second time, I was like, I go up strong, you know. So I just decided to cock it back and dunk it <laughs> and uh, executed it. And then the second one, um, I just drove baseline. And then I just uh, adjusted my body to avoid getting my shot blocked and kind of just threw it up. And uh, basketball guys did me good. Talking with Coach K, he said that you were not only the best guard in the Big Ten, but the best card guard in America. I'm curious, the way, and then tonight after the game, he talked about with this team, the way they're playing with you leading them, certainly with a great chance in Minneapolis. For you, it's been a, a road that you've been given nothing. You've earned everything. What does it mean to not only get the praise from your fans and from Coach Izzo, but from a fellow Hall of Famer and Coach Mike Krzyzewski. Uh, you know, it's, it's just an honor, you know. Like you, like you said, nothing was earned, you know. I mean, nothing was given. Everything was earned, you know, just working hard, constantly getting better and better. You got right here trusting me. These guys right here trust me, you know, to do what I do for this team. So, you know, they don't – I think I took 20-some shots today. They didn't say a word, you know. They encouraged me to <laughs> just keep going, keep doing what I do best for this team. And it's just – it's an amazing environment for me. You had four steals tonight. You guys turned them over 17 times. What was the approach defensively this evening? What key did and what uh, you guys were then able to score out of those turnovers too? Yeah. 24 points off turnovers. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was, you know, it was big, you know, just me being in those gaps, you know, taking away driving angles. You know, that's, that's a big team. They do a good job getting to that basket, uh, especially, you know, they got their tendencies. They go strong left or strong right. So I was just, I was roaming a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, which, uh, was, uh, Trey Jones didn't really, you know, take any three-pointers or anything like that. So it was a little bit easier to roam in there, stay in those gaps, uh, being on the help side off the lob and things. So I was just in the right right moments, you know, quick hands, just making plays that way. All right, thanks to those guys as well. We need your tweets. Use the hashtag 7SportsCable. We'll get to those coming up right after this.